We've seen apartment complexes around the Austin area shut off water to prevent more pipes from bursting. Hopefully this means that more of our living spaces don't become uninhabitable, but it's also highly inconvenient and sometimes life-threatening to not have running water. So here are a few tips, specifically toilet tips to help you get by until the water gets turned back on. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is fill your bathtub up with water. Now I know the snow got us into this mess, but it's gonna help us get out of it too. My water was shut off abruptly, so I'm filling a bucket with as much snow as possible and emptying that into my tub. In a few hours, hopefully enough of this is melted to where you can use it as toilet water. It's not the cleanest, but it will have to work. You have two options from here. You can either dump this water straight into the bowl or you can dump it into the tank. Dumping into the bowl uses less water and you don't even need to flush if you create enough pressure. The problem is my bucket isn't very big, about two gallons, and I worry that's not enough to create the pressure that I need to flush. So I go the tank route. I fill it up to the water line, and then I'm good to flush. And a few more notes to leave you with. If your water does get shut off, you should have enough water left in the toilet for one more flush. My advice to you, use it wisely. And speaking of numbers, it's okay to leave number one in the toilet for a day. Completely different story when it comes to number two. How about toilet paper? Toilet paper should go in the trash and not the toilet under situations like this. Put it in the trash and use baking soda or take out the trash to cut down on the smell. Not putting it in the toilet will help prevent it from clogging unnecessarily. Have any other toilet tips or water hacks? Let KVU know about them so we can help the people that need it the most.